Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to introduce you to a plugin that makes it very easy for you to encourage your website visitors to click to tweet your articles. Now this is great because obviously you want to get as many people to view your content and visit your website as possible and when a person finishes reading it or if they're in the middle of reading it they can click to tweet to their followers and uh, connections on Twitter. So this is a plugin that I'm going to introduce you to that makes it very easy to accomplish this. So the first step, I'm going to go to my dashboard. I'm going to go to plugins. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to show you the actual plugin itself. All right, now this is the plugin Better Click to Tweet. It's active on over 10,000 plus WordPress installations. It has five star reviews. It's very easy to use and they even come with some premium styling options as well. But I'm going to show you the standard out of the box uh, way it comes out on your site. All right, so I already have it active. Let me show you the settings page for it. All right, so this is the settings page. I'm going to collapse this here. And what this does is gives you some instructions of how the shortcode works. Uh, the best part of it is that it also has an icon in the post that you can use just a click to insert it wherever your cursor is located at. You would put your Twitter handle here. You could use a short URL. And if, again, if you want the premium styles add on, you can choose that as well. All right, so now I'm going to go to a recent blog post. I'm going to edit the blog post and I'm going to insert the short code somewhere around. I'm going to insert the short code here. All right, so once you click on the Twitter icon up there in your toolbar, uh, you're going to be presented with a pop up window, treatable quote. So I'm going to put in. All right, so this is the treatable quote that I'm going to put in. I'm not going to add my username because I'm already I'm treating it out to my own followers, you know, so this is good. But if a person is visiting your sites, you know, they will most likely add your Twitter username. So that way you get notified that it's been added. All right. So let's see how this looks. I'm going to click OK. It inserts this short code right here. So you see is the BCTT tweet equals and then it has the quote that you're going to be using. I put in some hashtags in there and then I'm not using my uh, username because it's going to my followers anyway. So it says via now and you see it has the opening and closing brackets there. You can preview the changes first if you want. I'm going to scroll down to where that is and it's right here. When a person hovers over it, they'll be able to click uh, to their followers on Twitter about this article, which makes it very easy for, for people to share your content. This is very beneficial for you. You see, you could also include the hashtags there. It makes it easy to do that. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to update this. I'm going to view the post. Again, scroll down to where that's at. Click on it. And now you see it's popped up here. I uh, must use WordPress keyboard shortcuts for bloggers and writers. I'm going to add some content here as well. Okay. So now I just added some more content to put there. And you see it has a link to the URL that uh, points to the article itself. And I chose the short form URL, so it just has the page ID. So must use WordPress keyboard shortcuts for bloggers and writers. There's also a YouTube video. Okay, so now let's tweet it out. I'm gonna go to my Twitter feed. I'm gonna refresh it. And you see it has it here now. All right, so this is great. Must use WordPress keyboard shortcuts for bloggers and writers. There's also a YouTube video. And then it has the link with the image to my article. Now the image is set because of the way I formatted my theme, you know, to show display the large image. So I'm going to do a video on that in a later tutorial. Um, you know, but this is how it displays when it goes to my uh, Twitter feed and that's how it'll display when it goes to your uh, website visitors Twitter feed when they click to tweet. It brings in the, the image, the title, the description and if a person clicks on it, they'll be taken to your article. All right, perfect. This is a very uh, good plugin to use. Again, it's called Better Click to Tweet. I'll leave a link to the plugin in the description section below. It's a free plugin, so definitely check it out. They do have some premium options, so you may want to look at that as well. 
Um, the formatting out of the box is very nice. If you want to customize it yourself, and if you're familiar with CSS, you can always inspect element by right clicking and then clicking on that item right here. You want to make sure that you are focused on that section and you can start looking at some of the styles that it currently has. And you can play around with it by adding these styles into your into your CSS sheet to override the ones that are here. All right, so this was just a brief uh, tutorial uh, demonstrating how to use the uh, Better Click to Tweet plugin, which is free on the WordPress repository. And it's another way to ensure that your website visitors can share your content with their followers on Twitter. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, uh, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be uh, giving you more tips and tricks on how to manage your WordPress powered website and to ensure you market it the way you need to so that you get as many eyeballs on your articles as possible. All right, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.